uh, I was at that time uh, guidance and counseling advisor. An email came from one of the students. And the very look of that email conveyed the message. In that, the student said, Sir, my life is a failure. I don't belong to IIT. I think I have failed my parents. All those over and over. There is no point in my being here at IIT. I want to leave. This is what he told uh, in this email. I replied to him saying that, why don't you come to my office, we'll, we'll have a chat. So he came, sat down, initial uh, greetings. And then I asked him what, what really happened. He said, sir, I came as a fresh person, freshman. I started uh, exploring. I talked to seniors. Seniors said, try everything that, that, you, uh, that you have in the industry. That way you will grow. I said, OK, I have to do that. So it was in my mind that I have to participate in every activity. Now, there are so many activities. So I said, OK, I will participate in this activity. After I finish this, immediately there is one more activity. I will participate in that. So I kept participating. But I was not able to win in any per, uh, activity, any competition. To the extent that I feel that I am worthless. There is no point in uh, being at IIT. I immediately recognized the problem. The problem with him was he was involved in too many activities. And it so happened that failure in one infiltrated into failure in the other and so on. So it was a cascading effect that happened. And I wanted to convey this to him. How do I convey it so that it is in his mind uh, permanently? So I thought, okay, an activity would help him. And this is what I did. Wow, you are able to catch this. No? Wow. No? Okay. So you seem to be catching well. Right? So catch this. 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 What happened here? You are supposed to catch. Okay, I will give you a tip. Come here. All you have to do is, when you cannot catch one of them, what happened to you was you couldn't catch the other. And therefore, not the other. Not the other. It went on. Right? It just went into a downward spiral. All you have to do is, if you missed one, just focus on the other. It's okay to miss the next and so on. See if you can catch a few of them instead of all of them. Possible? So let's try that. You understood the secret now? Okay. getting better at it. You just missed, the, missed an attempt and you said okay to it. Uh, that's basically what you should do in life too. Finally, uh, I asked that student, okay, what did you learn from this? Sir, everything is now clear, sir. I know I shouldn't be participating in all kinds of activities. I will now pick and choose. To my amazement, I had forgotten all this. Two years later, the student writes to me saying that, I just wanted to let you know the lesson that I learned when I met you has helped me tremendously. I am graduating in a few months now. 
I'm now almost the topper in my branch. I also won a silver in the hockey match that I played for the Insti. It's, I felt so happy because he had chosen now a, a particular activity where he would perfect it rather than just g giving time everywhere and losing it. And this failure was just completely screening him from looking at what he can achieve. So that's how one could probably look at one thing leading to the other. When you don't have self-confidence, you don't feel safe. You don't feel you're in control. And when you are not in control, there is no learning that can happen. Because you're not handling challenges, you're only embracing the failure. Right? <clears throat> you had a purpose. You wanted to become a good IITian. And therefore, you came here. But certain things when were challenging, you just slumped. The moment it was possible to see the other side of it, the whole thing changed and the purpose was met. And that's the model of the story.